Now with an update on the Amanda Knox case, the only person serving time for the murder of her roommate Meredith Kircher has been released from prison. Knox is speaking out and our foreign correspondent James Longman has the details. Good morning, James. Yeah, good morning, George. The murder of Meredith Kircher and the trial of her roommate Amanda Knox gripped the world for months. Since then, only one person has remained in jail for that crime until now. This morning, the man convicted in the assault and rape of British exchange student Meredith Kircher is free. An Italian judge ruling Rudy Guede can complete the rest of his sentence with community service. Guede was the only person still serving a sentence in Kircher's death. A fast-track process resulted in less jail time. But he continues to maintain his innocence, now saying justice has not been done. Kircher's roommate Amanda Knox and her boyfriend Raffaello Solecito were also found guilty, but their convictions were overturned. I continue to this day to be shocked that he is the forgotten killer, the one who was quietly tucked away, convicted of a lesser crime, and does not have to live with the burden of being forever associated with Meredith's death. With press interest in the case at fever pitch, prosecutors accuse Knox and Solecito of killing Kircher with Guede's help. Although only Guede's DNA was found on the murder scene, other DNA was found, but this evidence was later thrown out. I do know that many, many, many people have suffered a great deal because of what he did. Knox and Solecito were both convicted before being exonerated in 2011. But Guede remained in prison for the next six years. He received a partial release in order to attend school in 2017, but his sentence is set to end in 2022. Knox, now 33 and an advocate for criminal justice reform, says the burden of his crime falls on her. I do wish that he had been fully held accountable for what he did and that he acknowledged what he did. Now, since his partial release, Guede has been working at a library in central Italy. He's also been volunteering for a Catholic charity. His lawyer says this is a milestone for the 34-year-old, but this must be a very painful time yet again for the Kircher family. Guys? It is. It is. All right, James, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.